Have you ever wondered if the Google UX design certificate is worth your time and money? Well, stick around because I'm about to spill the tea on this course. Is it the golden ticket to a six figure UX career or just another overhyped online certificate? Today, we're gonna do a deep dive into the Google UX design certificate, but the Google certificates have gotten more hype than just about any online course out there. Take Cami's experience after one year of completing the course. She was able to level up from a graphic designer to a creative designer. And there's a lot of other really positive reviews online. There's there's more to this course that I'll reveal in this video. So before you click that enroll button, buckle up for the most candid, no holds barred review of the Google UX professional certificate that you'll find anywhere on the internet. Is it the real deal or just another digital paperweight? Let's find out together. All right, so let's just start with the basics. The Google UX design certificate is a self-paced online course. It's offered through Coursera and it takes about six months to complete. If you're watching this from the US, it costs about $49 per month. If you're watching it from elsewhere, it may have different prices. Go ahead and click the link down in the description in the pinned comment below to check it out. Also, in certain circumstances, you may be able to get a scholarship for the course, and there's a seven-day free trial. Now, it's aimed at beginners looking to break into UX design. Now, you might be thinking, Shane, is this just another corporate cash grab? Because let's be real, big tech isn't exactly known for their altruism. Are they creating an army of cookie-cutter designers to serve their agenda? Or is this a Trojan horse designed to flood the market with qualified candidates? Well, here's the thing. It's actually a win-win situation. They're offering top tier knowledge and you get to level up your skills. Tech companies need people that have very specific UX related skills and most colleges and boot camps are not providing people with the right training. Then on the other hand, there's a lot of people who would love to get paid to do art for a living. So it's kind of like being handed the blueprints to a UX fortress. Sure, they might hope you'll work for them one day and they are doing it for selfish reasons, but those skills, they're gonna be yours to wield however you want. And in the UX world, these skills are pure gold. So why not use their resources to catapult your career? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, not so fast. Let's go over the course structure and the content. The course is divided into seven parts. Foundations of user experience design, start the UX design process, empathize, define, and ideate, build wireframes and low fidelity prototypes, conduct UX research and test early concepts, create high fidelity designs and prototypes in Figma, responsive web designs in Adobe XD, and design a user experience for social good and prepare for jobs. Now each part is packed with videos, readings, and hands-on on projects. It's kind of like a buffet of UX knowledge. And trust me, you'll want to go back for seconds. The content is super practical. You're not just learning theory, you're actually designing stuff that you can put in your portfolio. But here's the real question. Is the content up to date and relevant? Well, from what I've seen and from the reviews online, it's pretty solid. Here's some insights from previous students of this course. This Redditor, for instance, commented that the certificate is a cheap and easy way to get started in UX design. And by the way, if you know anything about Reddit, they're pretty much negative about everything. They basically think every product and service out there is a scam. So if they say good things about products, that's a pretty good sign. Now, here's the thing about the course. It is gonna help you build your portfolio, but once you're done, you wanna volunteer for real projects, build your portfolio even more, and it'll give you a really good shot to land a UX job. And according to this Redditor, the Google UX Design Certificate is a great way to level up your tech skills, even if you're not aiming to be a full-time UX designer. Just keep in mind that you'll need to use Adobe XD for at least one project, so be ready to tackle that software. Now, on that note, this course covers modern tools like Figma and Adobe XD. And the principles they teach are timeless no matter what software you're using. It's kind of like learning to ride a bike. Once you've got it, you're set for life no matter what bikes that you end up riding later on. Unless you're me who still occasionally rides into bushes, but that's a story for another day. Hey guys, I'm in the editing process of this video right now, but Speaking of good signs, the course just keeps getting better and better with each update. And Google just leveled up this certificate with brand new AI content, including six killer videos. And these videos show you how to use AI in your UX design workflow. And you'll learn everything from generating personas and iterating designs with AI to using it for stakeholder communication and portfolio writing. Basically all the cutting edge stuff that's revolutionizing the UX design industry right now. And that's just the start of what you're gonna get. So click the link down in the description and the and comment below to check it out. Now let's talk about the actual learning experience. This course is self-paced, which is great if you're juggling other commitments. It's kind of like having a personal UX trainer who's cool with you showing up in your pajamas. The videos are well-produced and easy to follow. No boring lectures here. It's entertaining, engaging, and educational. But what about support? Well, there's a community forum where you can ask questions and you can get feedback on your projects from peers. And it's not exactly one-on-one -on -one mentorship, but it's definitely better than shouting questions into the void. And you can't really expect to get one-on-one -on -one mentorship when it's only 
only about $40 a month. Now let's talk about time commitment. Google says it takes about six months at 10 hours per week to finish the course, but almost all self reports say that you can probably finish it in something like one to two months pretty easily. But do remember that it is self paced. So you could blast through it fast if you want to work a lot, probably even in a few weeks, or if you want to take your time, you could do it over a year. But honestly, the key is consistency. Do it even if it's just an hour a day because it really adds up. And it's kind of like building a sandcastle just one scoop at a time, except this sandcastle could lead to a sweet UX career. Now let's talk about the good stuff projects because projects are incredibly important in UX. Now this course isn't just about filling your brain with UX knowledge. It's about filling your portfolio with killer designs. You'll work on real world projects throughout the course. And by the end, you will have a good functional portfolio. But with that being said, like I said before, you're going to need to add to your portfolio afterwards. Now going back to the topic, the projects cover a range of UX challenges from mobile apps to responsive websites, and you'll even design for social good in the final project. And that's something that'll look really good on your portfolio as well. Now, will this certificate actually help you land a job? The short answer is it can definitely help, the long answer is it's complicated. Here's the deal. This certificate gives you a solid foundation. It shows employers that you're serious about UX, but it's not a golden ticket to UX paradise. That doesn't exist. It's more like a really good map. You'll still need to do the walking and the searching, but the tech industry does respect Google. So having their name on your certificate carries weight. Now, here's the word on the street. While one person's job search after completing the Google UX certificate was challenging, it resulted in two valuable interview opportunities. And this experience demonstrates that a certificate can open doors and with persistence and continued skill development, more opportunities may arise for those who complete the program. So it's a really good start, but it's not gonna get you all the way there. Now here's the story of someone who got a job with a Google UX cert, but they did have other degrees too. And they said that the cert helps, but learning extra skills like coding and workplace tools is key. So just remember, this cert is one piece of the puzzle and it's a really good start. You'll also need to network, keep learning, and maybe even take on some freelance gigs. Now let's talk about the cost and the value for money. So think about it. For the price of a few fancy dinners, you're getting a potential career change. It's like buying a lottery ticket, but instead of relying on luck, you're investing in skills. And trust me, skills pay the bills. Plus there are financial aid and financing options available. So definitely look into those. Again, you can click the link below to check that out. And there's a seven day free trial. So don't let the cost hold you back. Remember, investing in yourself is always a good move. So overall, is the Google UX design certificate worth it? In my opinion, yes. It's a really good start to getting into a UX career. It's also flexible enough to fit into your busy life and it's a commitment where it doesn't cost you a lot of time, effort, or money, but you're able to see the skills that you will actually be doing on a day-to-day -day basis if you were to become a UX designer. So it's a great way for you to be able to dip your toe into becoming a UX designer without having to pay for an expensive college degree or go to a $10,000 bootcamp. So whether you're a college student, a career changer, or just curious about UX, this is a course that probably has something for you. But remember, it's not a magic bullet. You still need to put in the work and you're gonna need to do other things to supplement your portfolio and your resume. But if you do, the possibilities are endless. So if you're ready to dip your toe into the world of UX design, check out the link in the description. And if you're interested in the other Google certificates, I actually rank them from S tier, which is the best to F tier, which is the worst in this video, which you can check out by clicking right here.